gosh, look at this. It's too big to even fit in the screen. Whoa, what's going on everybody? Chris from Out West with Chris. Today gonna be unboxing Battlebox Mission 40. And this one has a firearms related theme. Let's cut her open and we'll dive on in. I'm slightly worried about just cutting this darn thing open. I don't want to damage anything that could be inside. So I'm going to be really careful. And it was a good thing I was. So keep that in mind when you get your boxes. Don't just stick your knife right down in there. So the sit rep this month is long range shooting. And this is the sit rep card. Shows you valuations on everything that's in the box, all that good stuff. Um, I'm getting the Pro Plus, which is the knife of the month. That's the highest tier. And the cost on that is 150 bucks. They're saying it's a $398 value. Holy crap, that's, cr that's crazy high. Before we get started, as always, I kind of feel like I have to say I don't pay for this box, I get it for free. Um, they don't pay me to make these videos though, so in case that was in the back of your mind. Um, I just get the box for free, then I tell you guys what I think about it. I've been fairly critical of Battlebox in the past, or items that are in battle boxes, and I've been I'm kind of, you might say, a fan. So um, I try to be as fair as possible when I'm going over all this stuff. Everybody's gonna have their, a different opinion. So I'm gonna put this gargantuan box of goodies. This is the biggest battle box to date, by the way. Some awesome stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna put this big old box of goodies down and we're gonna start going through it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The first item up is uh, this book right here. This is the long range shooting handbook and I know that my brother-in-law is going to tell me that I need to read this uh, forwards and backwards because he's a smart ass. That's a hunting reference. So this is a book and it's been a while since we've had a book in a box. I think, man, maybe we had one recently, I can't recall. Um, but these are good. Books are good. Read. It says that it's written in easy to read language that's not like super technical, um, but it's going to give you guys tips for long range shooting which if you're a hunter or something like that, everybody could use some tips on that. You know, controlling your breath, trigger squeeze, you know, some of those really important things that translate um, between hunting and like tactical type situation. Long range shooting is a skill that I think is developed over time. Um, takes a lot of practice. So this is a beginner's guide. The reason why I was laughing earlier is they have reviews on the back. And one of the reviews said, this is the worst coloring book ever. And I just thought that that was hilarious for some reason. Um, looks like it's gonna be a fairly easy read, just flipping through it like I just did. Value on that is $24.95. That's pretty steep for a you know soft cover book. But if there's good information in it, it's invaluable. Ah, here it is. I've been digging around for a second or two trying to find this little thing. This is some grease um, for your gun, for your you know trigger assembly, you know that type of stuff to make things nice and smooth. You don't want to put too much of this stuff on. It's grease, you know, just like you would expect it to be. And it's greasy, that's why they call it grease. Anyways, um, you know, lubes and greases are all part of uh, maintaining your firearm. Something you need to do if you have one. This is from Modern Spartan Systems. I got some stuff from them a while back and um, if I recall correctly, it worked well. It's an $11.50 value and it's called Spartan Accuracy Grease. Next up is this. This is the Rifle Cheek Rest with Ammo and Admin Pouch, $13.99. Um, it's not a brand name, it's not branded. So, for whatever that works. It's got a lot of Velcro. So this is the, the, uh, the Cheek Rest. Has an Admin Pouch right there. Um, I guess, is that an Admin Pouch? Um, yeah, okay. So that is your admin pouch. That's kind of a weak admin pouch. Um, I wouldn't really even classify it as an admin pouch. But it's a pouch. If it had a sleeve where you could put a dope chart in, like a clear sleeve, that would be kind of cool. It doesn't, but you could still put it in there and then you have it. Um, the nice thing is it's removable. Um, 
which is probably the option I'll go with. Um, got a little thing for bullets. Oddly enough, you can actually remove the cheek weld. The other thing that's kind of interesting is the foam that's in here. Um, you can actually access that little area. And if you feel like you need to adjust, you know, how much padding or how far out it sticks out, um, you could adjust the material or how much of the material you have in there. So if you feel like you don't want just uh, the foam that's rolled up, you want something a little bit different, like, I don't know, you wanna put rocks in there? You can put freaking rocks in there. You get the point. It's clear. Ignore this ugly contraption. Um, it won't work on this rifle just because of the, the stock that it has. Uh, maybe it will. You could make it work, but it's gonna be really wonky. This rifle has a, a little raised cheek area in the fixed stock, so I wouldn't wanna mess with that. So here's a rifle. It's actually one that I've never shot before. I've had this for a long freaking time and I've never shot it. It's unloaded. So basically, this is what you're left with. Um, you know, this doesn't have the admin pouch on it, like I mentioned, but um, you're left with this. Bullets. So, essentially, you can get a nice weld. I don't know. What do you guys think? The value on the rifle cheek rest with ammo and admin pouch is $13.99. I like that there's a lot you could do to change it and adjust it to fit your style. Um, you, know, you could adjust that cheek rest. Uh, for the weld that really you're going for um, so that's cool I don't really like a lot of accessories on my hunting rifles and that's not something I would probably put on a black rifle so that's just my take on it though let me know what your take is down in the comment section below next up in the last item in the basic box which costs you $25 and a value of 63 um, the last item is a $12.99 value so this is like a um, uh, a rifle rest um, for shooting. This is something you, if you hunted and you weren't concerned with weight of your backpack or something, you could take this out with you, um, set it up on a stump. Um, it's pretty, it looks like it's pretty portable. You can set it up on a log, you know, that's hanging across the trail, a trail, a log, and then put your rifle barrel over it. Um, lots of different stuff you could do with this. It's like a, Pretty grippy texture, not super grippy, but fairly grippy texture on the bottom. So that's gonna keep things in place where it needs to be. For a $13 value, I think that this is totally fair. Um, personally, you could set it up on the edge of an ammo can or up on an ammo can and, and use that. So an alternative to uh, something like this, which is pretty light, is one of these, oh gosh, that are freaking heavy as crap. Lugging these around is a pain in the butt. So kind of same principle. But instead of you know having all the weight and stuff like that, you have something that's really portable. So I kind of like it. All right, so moving on to the advanced, and um, there are two items in the advanced. The advanced costs 50 bucks. They're saying $118 for the value. First item is from Real Avid. I got a cleaning kit from Real Avid in a different box, and it was a great cleaning kit. It had all sorts of awesome stuff. So pretty interested to check this out. This is the best tool for the job, or something like that. This is the Real Avid Gun Tool, $24.99. This is it, it's basically a multi-tool. Um, it looks like you got some different bits that you can plug into this little driver. Little knife blade, um, a punch for your pins on your rifles. This is a cool tool. This is for, you know, choke tubes on shotguns and stuff like that. So then you have some other stuff, a couple Allen wrenches and some Torx. Um, all sorts of good stuff in here. It looks like three different torques. It's probably your more common sizes for, for black rifles is my guess. This is probably going to be aimed more at black rifles than, you know, like, uh, hunting rifles. Uh, but it's cool though that they have a shotgun tool. So, you know, that's kind of nice. One tool for your range bag instead of having, you know, your choke tube, um, tool, your, AR tool, you know, just all that different crap. You got it all. Um, I kind of like it. It's It feels good in the hand. It's not super heavy, but 
packs a punch. Something like this, just stick in your range bag in one of the pockets and it's there when you need it. I, I like that. Next up is a rifle cleaning kit. It's right here and it is uh, unnamed. It's just named a rifle cleaning kit, which I don't know, I kind of like it when kits are named, but as long as the stuff's good, that's that's fine with me. So it comes in this uh, pouch, basically. Looks like there is a strap so that you could attach it to webbing. Um, ooh, those buttons are nice, jeez. Those are some tight buttons. Okay, this is kind of cool. It uh, kind of folds out like that, and you have a uh, like a plastic compartment here, a mesh compartment here, and you got all sorts of stuff in here. Looks like you get an assortment of like scrapers and little picks. Um, these are nice when you're cleaning in little tiny spaces, which it seems like, you know, on an AR style rifle, there's just a ton of those. Even some handguns that I have, uh, it's, you just kinda gotta dig in there. Um, so this is kinda cool, it, they're plastic, so you don't wanna put too much pressure on them, you could, bend them or break them. Um, but that's pretty standard actually. I've received a few different sets of these kind of standalone um, and then also as part of rifle cleaning maintenance kits before in different boxes actually. I, I like these welcomed addition to the stuff that I use on a, on a regular basis. Like I said, let's take a deeper dive look at this cleaning kit. You got your plastic picks and tools. This contains the parts for your rod. Um, so there you go. And different tips. This is for a swab. Um, this is a screw on like a brush, that type of thing. Um, and then you have uh, just multiple lengths. So depending on how long your rifle barrel is, um, that's what these are all for. And then in the other pouch, you have a, a nylon brush. Nylon brush, a little thing right here, it's empty, um, but you would fill that up and put some you know, either cleaning um, compounds or lube in there, some patches. And here are your different brushes, larger caliber, smaller caliber. So pretty cool. So $30 value on the cleaning kit. Um, most cleaning kits, just standard, no frills cleaning kits, like hops kits and stuff like that, are around $13, $14. This kit seems a little bit nicer. So I'm, I'm cool with $30 charge. Um, that is your last item in the advance, so it's time to go to the Pro. And um, the Pro is a pretty awesome item. I'm really looking forward to this. You get one item in the Pro, it's a $90 value, and it's from Nine Line Apparel, and it's a rifle bag. This is why the box was so big. I like it already. You got, okay, this is cool. Um, you got a handle. Um, which I like to carry by handle. But then you can also flip it over and do backpack carry with it. I don't know if they have a sling style carry, like an over the shoulder. Maybe they do on the inside. Probably not, it's my guess with this pack. But it, it looks really well made um, from Nine Line. It's got a spot for a patch right there. Got some, some D-rings built in. And you got all sorts of stuff right here. Um, Nice, these pouches are nice. I like it. There's a little divider in the pouch and it's kind of, I don't know, like a, a soft texture to it, but the pouch kind of can expand if you got a lot of junk that you're sticking in them. Um, really nice pouch, that's really cool, I like it. And then uh, another one, this looks a little bit bigger than the two on the sides. Another big pouch in here. Um, this is cool, you can actually tighten this like shot cord down and really cinch in. There's a, a smaller pouch here, some webbing, where you can put stuff on, you can put your gun, your cleaning kit right there. Um, all sorts of good stuff. A little pouch over here. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of this small pouch over here is. It's pretty, pretty small. I don't know, like car keys or chapstick, crap like that. Let's open it up on the inside. I'm kind of inspecting the stitching and um, on the handle there's a little bit of a potential issue on the stitching. 
Looks like their machine kind of went a little haywire right there. And I just noticed you get another big pouch right here. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Theoretically, you could put a handgun in here. I would like it if these were like felt lined and then I would totally put a handgun in there. Um, you could do something with this. This is the third zipper that has done this. So that's a red flag. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a major issue or not, but uh, another pouch there. And then I don't know. Oh yeah, fourth zipper that has done that. Another pouch there. Okay, so it is a true two-gun uh, case. It has a section here. Put your gun in and then flip that over. Put your other rifle in here. Gosh dang it. I really want to love this thing, but look at this. I mean, if you got a big old string, a string right here. You might not be able to see it. But if you got a big old string just kind of hanging out, you know, it makes me wonder how quickly this thing is going to freaking fall apart. Um, the QC got lost on this one. Yeah, man, bad stitching here. I mean, that's bad. It's bad when the guy who's like reviewing the box gets the one, hopefully it's just the one, that has all of this like sewing issues and uh, zipper issues and stuff like that. I have a couple of these carrying cases for, for rifles. And it's pretty standard to have the Velcro in there to kind of hold them in place. You don't want them just, you know, rocking around in the compartment. So hopefully this Velcro is strong. You also have some flaps that kind of keep things where they're supposed to be. And I will show you in a second. Um, it's nice and padded. So essentially this is what is going to happen. So you have these flaps that hold the barrel and the, the ass end of the machine. In the correct position, the Velcro uh, kind of holds it in place. You don't have to worry about optics too much. This will flip right over, and you can add another firearm right here. So that's super cool. I really like the padding on the edges, as is the case with most of these rifle bags. Um, the majority of them that are sold in most of your gun stores and sporting goods stores won't actually fit a hunting rifle. Hunting rifles are just a little too long. Okay. It's just the way it is. You know, these style of range bags are kind of marketed to the tactical crowd. And um, I have a couple. I, I bought into that whole marketing. And when I went to go put like uh, my 17 HMR in it, it didn't fit right. Or, you know, a 10.22 or 30-06 or whatever. Um, it's your black rifles that typically fit well in them. So, you know, your AR-15s and, and that type of stuff. Shorter rifles. I really like that bag. I think it's uh, well designed, well thought out. My only gripe is of course going to be I had like four issues with zippers right off the bat and I had a, a ton of spots where the stitching just wasn't done well and that kind of worries me for the longevity of this. So what's up Nine Line? I mean come on. You guys are better than that. Um, my guess is they either contracted some of this stuff out or they were rushed to fulfill an order and um, their QC kind of dropped the ball. Unfortunately, um, that's not a reflection on Nine Line. I've always had a good opinion of them as a company. And I'm surprised that we haven't seen them partner up with BattleBox earlier on. And, you know, it's Mission 40. Uh, because they're both located in Georgia, I believe. I think they're pretty close to each other. So pretty cool stuff, the Nine Line bag. Hopefully, if you guys got this, it didn't have a whole bunch of stitching issues and, and quality stuff. So, let's move on to the Pro Plus. The Pro Plus is commonly referred to as the Knife of the Month Club um, because we get a knife. And this month is something I've been looking forward to. I heard about this knife uh, being the Knife of the Month. Comes in a really cool like carbon fiber carrying case. There's the knife. Looks pretty big because it's pretty big. This is the Sniper Blade Works DMF folder. I'll say that again. Sniper Blade Works DMF folder. The blade is 1095 high carbon, and oh my gosh, that's a greasy son of a gun. Um, whoa, geez, this is a huge knife. 
I need to clean that off before I get all greasy. A little carbon fiber inlay right there. Oh man, it's got like a little, I don't know what you call it, a little cutout for your finger as it's coming back. I really like that, that's super comfortable. Um, big old frame on here, and uh, it's got a frame lock. Um, probably gonna be closing that thing two-handed, but whoo, man, that is a slick looking knife. The lock is pretty positive once it's engaged. No wiggle at all. It's it's heavy, and it wants to pocket carry. There's a, a clip right here. I don't know. Um, it's kind of big, but I think it's a really cool. So uh, kind of like a stonewash feel to the blade, and just this really cool design. Um, sharp to the tip, but thick right up here and then really thin right there. Oh man, this thing is, is really nice. And I think this thing is just gorgeous to look at. I mean, look at that. that. That knife is beastly. This is just gorgeous knife. The knife itself is a $190 value. And this is a, a first ever production run on this knife. Hold on a steal in here, folks. This thing is not light. It's really beefy. It's gorgeous, just a super cool design. So, the box overall, how do I feel? How do I think some of you feel? Those of you who aren't into shooting, you're not gonna like this box a whole heck of a lot, besides maybe the knife, I totally get that. But hey, here's the deal, it's a themed mystery box. It's a subscription box. It, the theme changes month to month. You might be more into hiking than some guys um, that get the box. They might not like the hiking stuff as much, you might not like the gun stuff as much. Um, so it is what it is, right? That's the deal with subscription boxes. The themes change. The items all made sense, right? They all made sense. They seem like they were all pretty good. The rifle cheek rest is nice, but to me it has a little too much going on on it. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan of those. Um, I, I just don't like having so much stuff on there. Um, I like to bring a gun up and just not have stuff by my face. The book I think is a great one, uh, great idea anyways. I haven't read it yet so I can't really give a book review, but it seems like a great idea. Um, everything else, awesome. The real Avid Gun Tool, I'm gonna get used out of it. It'll go straight into this new range bag, which I'm gonna turn into my range bag and hopefully it just doesn't fall apart on me. That's kind of a little bit of a bummer for me that uh, it seemed like some of the quality control on the nine line bag was a little bit off because it's a super cool freaking bag. But when I see loose string and string coming out of spots that shouldn't come out of, you know, I get a little bit worried. Overall, to me, great box. Great box. Knife, freaking home run. Those are my thoughts. Now I want to hear yours. What do you guys think about this box? Uh, anything stand out? Did you get a bag from Nylon that had some, some issues with zippers maybe and stitching? You know, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on the theme as a whole? Do you think that this video will get demonetized? That's a good question because I think it will right off the bat. Anyways, uh, that's just part of doing YouTube nowadays. So that's the video guys. If you like it, hit that thumbs up button. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you know when I upload a new video. Check out some of the other videos up on the screen. I do a lot more than just open presents. Um, I do some fishing, I do some hunting and camping and, you know, cool stuff with my kids. Um, so take a look at some of these other videos on the channel. Thank you guys for watching and thanks for getting out west with Chris.